Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. We are going to kick off tonight with some nice cards. <laughs> Ooh, Kelly, really? Yeah, really. I'm going to make sure that I get my iPad on here. I'm getting better at this. Ooh, I see people coming in. Yay! See if I can get those. There comes our comments. Let me get that back here. So, I am hoping that we do not experience any problems tonight. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to guarantee anything. And first off, hi everybody coming in. First off, I would like to thank you guys for your patience while I try to work through what is happening with my internet connection. Um, I had the AT&T U-verse here on Friday, and they changed out my big tower because my TV um, cable isn't working properly, and then I've been having trouble with my connection on Facebook and YouTube, both of them. So my internet connection is having some issues. So I had the cable people here on Friday, and they changed out my um, tower, and then... The same problem happened yesterday, so that was really frustrating. We had our big spring virtual retreat yesterday and Friday night. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. And I wanted to let you guys know that if you did not get in on that, don't worry, we're going to have another one this summer when that new annual catalog is going. So watch for that. Be excited. It was so much fun. We loved it. But I did experience some problems with my live. Um, so bad that I had to redo the video. I had to make then a video and post it, which I'm glad, you know, I did that because people paid that and they deserved it. But, um, I want to tell you guys, if you have, if we have issues tonight, if we have issues and I get shut down, um, or I keep freezing up, I am going to stop this live. And I'm going to shut off my Wi-Fi on my phone so that I'm not pulling my home internet. And I will use the internet on my phone and I'll start up another live. And in order to see that, all you have to do on your phone is pull your screen down. And it'll come down and a little wheel will go around and it'll refresh your screen and you'll be able to see me. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie says, I'm so sorry for all your problems. Yeah, well... You know, um, everybody experiences them. Technology's great when it works, right? And when it doesn't, it's like you want to rip your hair out. <laughs> My hair is looking pretty good tonight, though. I think I'll leave it intact. <laughs> so I spent the entire day putting um, shipping labels on retreat swag boxes. We have these great big boxes coming out to everybody that signed up for the virtual retreat and they are filled to the brim with fabulous Stampin' Up! product, um, tons of make and takes. It, you're just going to love them. But I spent all day doing that and um, again, here's some more technology things. I had to learn how to use a new software because PayPal is who I usually print my labels through. Their prices for these boxes, you know, I'm used to mailing envelopes, but the boxes was outrageous. So after conversing with Barb and Dina, they're like, no, you have to do pirate ship. And, the, and they've been telling me about pirate ship for a while, but today I had to do it. So I had to learn all new software and then um, bring in all my information into pirate ship that's sitting in PayPal. That's why it was so nice to use PayPal because you guys pay me through PayPal, right? For these kits and stuff and then I can just print a label well now I have to import it into a separate software so today was a learning experience but I do have to say that I got to watch um, Step Brothers have you seen that one like it's an old movie and I saw it years ago but I just don't remember it being so hilarious <laughs> because I was laughing out loud as I'm making labels <laughs> I was laughing it was so funny it's kind of um um, it's an adult comedy. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but it is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, I'm just watching my comments roll in, you guys. So, I have some winners from last week. 
I'm going to do those right now. Um, I have some of the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo Pack. Yeah, two rolls of ribbon. This is going out for comments last week, and my winner is Debbie Pot. Debbie, I didn't see if you're on here yet tonight, but Debbie is from Charlotte, North Carolina. I do not have your address, so I will um, I will need you to send me an email, kelly at stampabove.com, K-E-L-L-Y at stampabove.com, and I will get these in the mail. I see that Wendy just said that Step Brothers is hilarious. Oh my lord, it's so completely ridiculous, but it is so funny. Before that was um, um, Will, uh, what's his name? You know, the guy in Step Brothers. He was the anchor man, and it was the anchor man too. So it's the second one of that anchor man movie that he made, and I've never seen that before. But that was pretty hysterical too. I only watched a little bit of that. Anyways, back to our prizes. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, we have 2020-2022 in colors. Beautiful, gorgeous DSP. And this is for sharing my video. So make sure you're clicking on that share button. Share my video. That really helps me grow my business and I appreciate it so much. And you can click that button right now. Just click on share and share it to your profile page. Now, Luba, and Luba, I never know how to say your last name. B-A-L-Y-C-Z. Luba, you are going to get a pack of this designer series paper in the mail. And I'm going to be sharing a card that Luba sent to me with you guys tonight. It is my fun fold. You're going to love it. It is so cool. Luba makes awesome cards and she sends them to me. And I just have to, I, I like was measuring and figuring it out. And oh, you're going to love it. Next up for placing orders. I always do a drawing for everybody who's placed an order with me since I drew last time or usually every week, right? When I'm on every week. We've got another press on. This is a fabulous little stamp set. And I can't remember who I sent this to last time, but somebody won this a week or two ago. And um, they told me, they sent me a message and said, thank you so much. It was so fun to get that happy mail. And they said they don't drink coffee. And of course, this is kind of all about coffee. But she said, I have a lot of friends who do, so I'll be making them cards. And I don't drink coffee either, but I love making my coffee drinking friends, which is like most of them, because I don't know, I feel like they're adults and maybe I'm not so much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, I enjoy making um, coffee cards for my friends. So the winner of this is Paulette Ab Alber, A-L-B-E-R, from Reed City, Michigan. This is going to be on its way to you, and you're going to love it. It's a really fun stamp set. I did a kit with it um, not too long ago. Okay, all the prizes, I'm going to put them over here. Now, don't forget, Luba, I need your address, and Debbie Pot, I need your address. But Paulette, I have yours, so don't worry about that. I like to set that over there so I don't lose these things. Then I wanted to mention to you guys that I have the... Um, so much happy this so I know this is backwards but you know you can get the gist of what it says it has some sentiments and it says happy a lot because it's happy <laughs> I have some kits left with this these dies you guys are on sale for $12 I hope they're still in the store I forgot to check before I came on $12 for these dies so I have a kit class with this bundle. If you already have this bundle, you can order the kit. If you don't have this bundle, you can order the kit and the bundle. And the bundle is now, um, the kit is $49. You can add on the bundle for an additional $38.50. And that is the sale price on the dies. Included in the kit are these wonderful resin dots. A pack of the Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper. Very pretty, very colorful. You're also going to get three rolls of ribbon in the Playing With Patterns Ribbon Combo Pack. That matches the paper. And a packet of pre-cut cardstock. This has enough pre-cut cardstock in it to make eight cards. You get four different designs and you make two of each. So... I only have a few of these left. When I mentioned it last time I was on, 
live someplace. <laughs> I can't even remember. Maybe it was on my video Friday. But when I mentioned it, um, I did get um, a couple people that bought them. So I still have a couple left. Beautiful, fun cards. You will absolutely love this one. And um, all you have to do is go to my blog, www.astampabove.com and um, click on the online classes. If you scroll down, you'll see online classes. Click on that and I moved this class right to the top. It is not a new class. So for those of you that have already taken this, don't take it again, unless you want to. Of course, I, I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> but um, it, I'm just putting it up there because the stuff is on sale. I lowered my price also. And um, I have a few left. And somebody said, I thought you would have taken a break. Well, a sane person would have taken a break because it has certainly been a couple weeks of madness. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have been working like a dog ever since I got back from Florida. It's been insane. Um, I've been super, super busy trying to get ready for this retreat. And then, of course, keeping my business working in all the other areas, too. So it's been nuts. So I think that my unicorn has helped me quite a bit. Yeah. And my friend Debbie, she gave me these oil things. And um, this one says energy and focus. And it smells really good. And I have to tell you, I don't know if it works or not because, well, I just don't know. But put a little bit here, a little bit there. I rubbed some on my wrist. She put it in this pretty little bottle with some, I don't know, little rocks in there. Oh gosh, it's leaking all over. Um, but I've been wearing that and it smells really good and I don't know if it's been really helping me or not, but I like the smell of it and I like to think that it's doing something so I can stay focused and I don't have so many of those squirrel moments, right? You guys like my, I got Buzz Lightyear Kleenex. Everyone should have some. <laughs> okay, so let me clean up the oil that I just spilled all over. But anyways, my husband bought... Well, he didn't buy. I bought some other oil from her that is supposed to relieve your aches and pains. And, you know, I don't know. I'm always a little skeptical about this stuff. He had he had problems. Didn't I tell you guys that he couldn't hardly walk? The arch on his foot just started killing him. And um, hang on a second. Sandra said, can I get the kit with, with the stamp set? You already have the dice. Absolutely. Just pop me an email and I will send you an invoice. Um, that reflects that you don't want the dies. So sure you can, but don't don't hit the PayPal button. Um, inst um, instead, just pop me an email, and we'll take care of that on a personal level. But anyway, so C put this stuff on his foot because his arch was just killing him, and that was late afternoon, like I don't know six o'clock. I said, here, try this, and he's like, oh, whatever, and blah, blah, and he. He had bought some other stuff, and he's like, I don't know if it works, and whatever. He put that oil on his foot. Within an hour, it didn't hurt anymore, and it still doesn't hurt. Like, it never, like, the next day started hurting again. So then he um, set up a gym out in the garage. So he's working out in the garage, working out. And he said, oh, his shoulders were killing him from working out. And uh, he put some of that stuff on, and they don't hurt anymore. So whatever that stuff is, it works, and it's amazing. I see Rachel just ordered the So Much Happy kit. Woohoo! Go, Rachel. Way to get on that. Yeah, so if you guys want that kit, um, you, when you're done, you can order it. I don't think, I think I've got, I thought I had four, but then I found about three more. So you don't need to worry if you're going to run out. Is it too late to sign up for the retreat? Um, Kathy, if you could please email me and ask me that question. And the reason why I say that is because I might have miscounted. I have two kits that um, I think are extras because I had somebody's name, two people's names in my list twice. If that's the case, you can sign up. The retreat was on Saturday, but it's in a Facebook group. We have PDF files and links to everything that happened. So... Um, I'm going to check with Dina and Barb to make sure that that's okay. I'm thinking it will be, but um, pop me an email so you get on my radar and I remember to get back to you. Hang on. I just broke my fingernail. No, I don't chew on my fingernails, but I don't have clippers here. Okay. Um, we're going to start stamping. Oh, I need to give you a John update. 
Okay, this is what Steve told me. John was gone all week. Steve was really starting to get worried. But he came back today. He looks fine. Everything is good. That's what I have for you. And he's not blocking the view out the kitchen window anymore. I don't know if, like I said, if he's got our house bugged and he heard us complaining that he was parking so you couldn't see anything. But he's not doing it anymore. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't have our house bugged. Well, pretty sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, hang tight. I'm going to start unloading all my stuff here. Um... Let's see. Oh, little Miss Val, that poor child. She had to go into the doctor again. She's still having problems with her ears. And she went to the doctor, and this time they gave her an antibiotic shot. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't there. Just makes me sad, right? But um, then she went to the doctor the next day, and they said it was already looking better. So I'm hoping that it's done, because holy cannoli, right? Not cool. All right, <laughs> Cindy says he probably watches my lives. I'm thinking he doesn't. <laughs> I think if he did watch my lives, he would probably say something to Steve. <laughs> oh my gosh, but I know that the people that live next door to John is um, Diane and Wayne. And Diane does watch my lives. So, hi Diane. <laughs> She's in on the little secret and she knows John. Okay, um, big shout out to Kathy Miller and um, Connie Piasecki for helping me with the retreat. I forgot to put something in my post earlier, but it takes a village to do something like this on the level, the quantity level that we are. And I had help. And bless their hearts, they gave up their Saturday, Connie did, and um, Kathy gave up a lot of her days <laughs> to help me. And they were amazing. So... Um, thank you both for all of your hard work. I really appreciate it. The, um, the retreat was fantastic. Like it, I don't know if it could have gone any better, except if I wouldn't have gotten froze up on Facebook, but it all worked out. I made a video. Everything is good. Uh, oh, Diane says she didn't believe in oils, but her sister gave her some peppermint. Now I lost your comment. Hang on. Gave her some peppermint oil for her headache, and it worked. I know, this is kind of amazing. Like, his foot stopped hurting. And, like, you would think that if there's something wrong with it, it would start hurting again the next day, right, when the oil wore off, but it didn't. So, I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of a skeptic. But when you find something that works, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. I am going to... Oh! Faylene, thank you so much. Faylene says the retreat was crazy fun. It really was fun. Um, we ugh, we just put so much into that. We really wanted it to be an amazing event for everybody. And I think we accomplished that, right? It was pretty cool. And it was all virtual. So it was all on Facebook, YouTube. We played bingo live via YouTube. Um, we had live presentations throughout the day, Saturday by all three of us. And then we had videos that we had pre-recorded for um, three different classes, three different cards each. So there was just so much stuff that we shared. And it was so much fun to be able to do that for everyone. Okay, now we're going to stamp, okay? <laughs> Hang on. Peppermint helps her asthma, Brenda says. That's awesome too, Brenda. Okay, we're going to flip this around. Oh, and by the way, I have been giving credit to Mary Lynn Cox for my fan. Hang on, I'm not ready yet. For the fan that keeps my phone from overheating. And this is just a little tight tonight. There we go. I'm going to turn it on right now. And if you hear a little humming, that's what that is. But I have to have it on because my phone gets really super hot. And I know I need to go get a new battery, but who has time for that? <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Okay. But anyways, I've been give, giving credit to Mary Lynn Cox. And guess what? Linda Morrison is the one who gave it to me. Linda, I love the fan. Thank you so much. Okay. We are going to be using the in colors that I gave as a gift for sharing my video last week. So this is cool, right? Um, I'm gonna share a card. Now, I wanna tell you where this card is coming from. 
The card that we're making to what is this? Oh, look, hey, chick. Um, the card that we're making tonight is from one of my team members, Wendy Sue Winter. Wendy Sue is a fabulous stamper. She makes beautiful cards. And I was going through my swap cards and I thought, oh, this is a perfect card to share with everybody because I'm going to give you the dimensions. And it's easy to make, but it's very, very pretty. It's a classic layout. We're going to be using the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set as well as the Brilliant butterfly, oh, um, brilliant wings dies with this one. I'm bringing in some circles with the layering circle framelits. And then I wanted a sentiment. So, oh, I think I grabbed a hello there from the sweet strawberry and any little sentiment will work fine. Um, okay, so let's bring in our cardstock layers here. So I've got some designer paper, that in color designer paper that we're going to use. Oops. I got my little cheat sheet right here. Hang on, this has my dimensions on it so I don't look like a fool much. <laughs> I've got some scraps. Basic white scrap. I've got two pieces of basic white. These are both four by five and a quarter. I've got a big scrap of basic white. This is also just a scrap. And then I've got Bumblebee. Oh, look, this got all bent. I'll straighten it out. I've got five and a half by eight and a half Bumblebee. I really, this color has really grown on me. I'm really liking this yellow. And I've got a little scrap for the inside. This is three quarters by, it's going to be four. These are four and three quarters by one, and you need three of them. And then, of course, the envelope. You know I love to decorate my envelopes. Pam, can you, is there any way you can turn up your volume? Because I found that when I can't hear very good watching these videos, it's because I have my volume down. But if you can turn your volume up on your device, I think that might help. Let me know if it doesn't. Okay, so this is in focus on my um, iPad here too. So. Sometimes the streaming, it's it's um, it's my streaming, it's your streaming, but I think my streaming is doing okay right now. You guys let me know if I start freezing, if you can, because if that happens, like I said, I'm, I'll shut down and we will do a new live using my phone internet because I'm pretty sure my phone is powerful enough to do that. It should be. I paid a flipping fortune for it. I can remember, I don't remember what year I bought my phone, but it was out, it was just crazy. Um, it was several years ago, so it's not a new phone. But it cost me like $964. Is it funny that I can remember that amount, but I couldn't tell you what I ate yesterday? And, and the reason why I can remember it is because it made me angry. <laughs> it just made me mad that a phone cost me that much money, but at the time, I was having problems with space on my phone, the memory, right, the space. So um, I bought a huge, huge memory card, and it turns out that my phone actually had more memory space than my brand new laptop. That's how big. It's 256 gigs, and my laptop doesn't even have that. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is, hmm, here's my ink. I have got um, basic black, or uh, not basic black, I've got memento black. Cynthia says her internet is horrible. Yeah, I, you know, it's so frustrating. I don't know why, like in this day and age, and especially since we've you know, all been hunkered down for the last year, we should have better luck. Okay. I just want the top part of this, so I'm just going to set this down and give it a good rub. I should have brought in a scrap here. Hang on, let's use this. Oh, by the way, you guys, I posted a last chance list, a retiring list the other day for the um, mini catalog. And have, most of you, those of you that tried to open it couldn't open it. That's totally my fault. It's, it's in the wrong version to be uploaded to my blog. But then I found out we have some discounts coming, so I didn't want to repost it until we get till we know what those sale prices are because I don't want to mislead anybody 
into buying something and then it's going to go on sale right away. If I know there's a sale coming, I will tell you. So I'm telling you right now <laughs> that we are, we are expecting some discounts on that retirement list for the mini catalog. And I just want to wait until that happens. I think what I'm going to do, you guys, this is my inside layer and I'm going to, I'm going to make my stripe, my strip of paper go up and down instead of across the bottom. And I think when we get this done, you'll understand why I did that. Sometimes I do it this way, but most of the time I do it across the bottom, right? This is a three quarter inch piece of the designer paper that most of us would just throw away. So this is a really good use of it, right? And I'm going to use my liquid glue to add this right in here. Let's see, I just, I just missed something. just said they've ordered two times since the list came out she may be in trouble don't tell anybody that's my advice <laughs> I know how that goes see and that's just pretty I love that okay so so far we have this and this now we're gonna bring this in oh I need to get a piercing that out here we're gonna bring this in oh we have a little bit more stamping to do too so I'm gonna bring in this is just a little circle I use my um, layering circle dies to cut a little basic white circle and then I've got this hello there from that strawberry sweet strawberry set so we're going to stamp that on the circle yay that worked good okay and then we're going to layer it on just a little bit bigger circle now this is about one and a quarter inch but you just want to use whatever circle fits your sentiment if you want it smaller, you can make it smaller. If you need it to be a little bit bigger, make it bigger with your layering circles. And then, who said I'm a paper hoarder? <laughs> I think we all are a little bit. I'm trying not to be, though. You know that one of my um, New Year's resolutions one year was to stop hoarding the paper. I'm not even kidding because it's like, it goes out of style, you guys. It just doesn't make any sense to hoard the paper because it goes out of style. Now, I'm going to come in here with my pumpkin pie light. I don't know really if this is the color that I want or not. Yeah, it's pretty orangey. And I'm just going to go around and color right where Stampin' Up! has given me the darker detail lines on this butterfly. So you don't have to really be an artist and know what you're doing. Because, I mean, let's be real, they do know what they're doing to put in the shading and the shadows and the highlights and, and all the things that I don't understand. But I can follow what Stampin' Up! has done here. <laughs> Just fine. I can copy like nobody's business. Okay, so I'm just going to keep coloring in the shaded areas because that's where these artists that have designed these images know that that shadowing and whatever should be. Not me, I make cards. And I know that I am an artist in some respects, but let's be real, I could never make this. <laughs> That's a little bit beyond me. I can color pretty, how about that? So I'm just adding this color, adding the color, adding the color. And then I might come in with a little bit darker. Where did my words go? Is anybody? Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, my um, my comments left me. Um, oh, I wanted to go around these black circles. I'm just gonna put some dark orange around them because I don't know, I thought it would look cool. Maybe I'll come in with dark orange in these little spots on this butterfly because I don't know, I think it might look cool. It does look cool, doesn't it? I like it. Oh, let's do this whole thing right here. Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. This is probably a moth, by the way. Oh, I think that's it. I don't see any other places we need to do that. Moths are kind of gross, right? But they can be so pretty. Now I've got um, a light mango melody. Mmm, delicious. 
delicious. And I'll just color his body in yellow too. It's probably not supposed to be yellow, but it's my butterfly. I can make any color I want. <laughs> How's that? How's that for being the boss of my own card? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so vibrant. I love it, love it, love it. And I just keep kind of coloring over it so it doesn't look childish and scribbly. That's what I love about alcohol markers. Now, I'm going to color this body. Eh, I don't know if it's supposed to be that color or not. Well, mm, I don't know what to say about that. I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so once I have that colored, now what I'm going to do is come in and add some winky. Now, I was demonstrating yesterday with this and I told people, whatever you do, if you need to get some more Wink of Stella into your barrel, don't ever sit and squeeze this over your project because sometimes it'll run right out and it'll come out in a big sploosh when you're doing that. And you know, it's not a big deal, but if you have it laying over your card, it'll sploosh all over your card. There's my new words for the day. And uh, you're not gonna be very happy. I know I don't want that card, so don't send it to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> you can send it to me. That was really snarky. I'm feeling kind of feisty tonight. Does anybody know why I might be feeling a little feisty? Well, guess what? Kelly is headed south again. And I timed this to happen right at the end of the big retreat because I knew that it was going to be exhausting. And I figured I needed a little reward at the end of the rainbow. And so my reward is, is that I'm looking at this in the light so I can make sure that I have all my wink on there. My reward at the end of the tons of work that I've done over the last several weeks is that I'm going to Florida. Yay me! So we're going to take a little trip down to Florida and here's the big, big news. We're taking Val and Haley with us. Boom. I get to spend a few days with my baby girl well, and my grandbaby, but that's who I was talking about pretty much. I pretty much adopted her as my, my baby. That's what I always call her. How's my baby? Where's my baby? What's my baby doing? How's my baby feeling? <laughs> I know you guys are going to get sick of me. But anyways, um, Haley and Val are coming with us because Haley's on spring break. And then we're bringing, we're bringing them down on Tuesday. That's when I'm leaving. Okay, so I've got some temporary tape here and I just like to do this. And then, why are my, I don't know why my comments are gone. But anyways, um, we're bringing them down on Tuesday and then they're staying and coming home on Saturday because she has to work next week. So that'll be super fun, right? I'm really excited. I bought Val uh, a really cute, oh, I gotta cut this because this won't fit. I bought Val a really cute little pool toy. I hope she likes it. We're staying at a place with a heated pool and then of course we'll go to the beach, right? I want to make sure, hang on you guys, this, my tape didn't stick very good. I just want to make sure that I cut this out right. Let's get a different piece. Where'd that go? Here it is. My chat stopped. Did everybody's chat stop? Because mine doesn't mine isn't working either. Let me see if I can turn this upside down. Hang on. Oh, there it's back now. Maybe I just can't put it um oh crud. Maybe I just can't put it horizontal like that or yeah, there you are. You guys are still here. Sorry. Yeah, we're not we're not in a rush tonight by any means. So just um, hang in there. So, anyways, we're taking Val and Haley to Florida, and I'm really excited about it. And I'm excited to be able to spend a few days with her. She's so precious. You know, Steve and I have been looking. Well, he has kind of been looking at you know different places to make a new home. Like, this house has five bedrooms. Well, it's only got four now, but four bedrooms. It's a great big giant house, and we don't really need a big house like this anymore. We did when we had four kids here, but we don't anymore. So we've been kind of looking around. We've talked about building, 
and um, it's a horrible market right now if you're looking to buy a house so that's dumb and so why did I even start that conversation oh I know because Steve went and looked at this place that's about 40 minutes from here and um, he came home and he was he looked just like a little puppy dog he comes up to me and he says listen I just really don't think we can move that far away from the grandkids, do you? <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Okay, here's our butterflies. Pretty. And I also cut this one out. So I'm going to put, when I cut out extras, like I'm not going to use this tonight. Oops, this one. So when I cut out extras, I will just take them. You see all my extras? And I will just put it in here. I can use it next time. Or the time after, or the time after that. But anyways, here's my butterflies. Now, where'd my card go? Right here. We are going to make our card now. So anyways, he is a softy, and he's the one who said, I just don't think I can leave the grandkids. Like, um, of course we love them all, but we get to see Molly and Val all the time, and if we live 40 minutes away, that's not gonna happen. So, yeah. I think we put the kibosh on that. So whatever we do, we're probably just going to stay in our house for a while now. Because um, I'm having the bathroom remodeled. And my guy had to go to Madison yesterday, which is a couple hours away, to get some, I don't know if he was getting an electrical boxes or wire. Because it's all gone. Like, this, this pandemic has... Um, depleted so many supplies it's insane so he had to go to, to Madison for one thing and then he had to go to Green Bay for another because everything is gone and he said wire I don't know how much wire but it went from $60 to $100 and so it's not even a good time to build it's not a good time to build it's not a good time to to um Remodel because everything's so expensive. So I think we'll just be hunkered down here for a while. And I told you Steve bought a boat, right? He picked it up this week. So he's pretty excited about it. Now I keep calling him. Here's his new nickname. Skipper. <laughs> and he loves it. Oh, shoot. I'm not supposed to do that yet. See, now I get off on a tangent. And I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to take this. And just maybe stick, oh, I've got, hang on, i got some plastic here that'll work. Because I need, I need this on the other side here. So this is from that, ooh, that dandy laser cut paper that's in the um, mini catalog. I did a presentation yesterday with the, um, for the retreat using this dandy laser cut paper and I made four different cards and then a cute container to put them in. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so fun. And that's the first time prepping for that is the first time that I took that laser paper out, but it was really cool. So take a second look at that. I think you guys will love it. It's just so many elements to it. So I've got the polka dotted tool here. And of course that laser paper, I'm pretty sure that's retiring with the current mini catalog. Oh, sometimes, sometimes bows can be challenging, right? There we go. But yeah, it was really fun using this stuff. That's why I'm talking about it because I just pulled this out of the garbage. Yes, yes, I'm not be above dumpster diving to get what I need. <laughs> okay, so we got a cute little bow there. And then I'm gonna come in and cut my ribbon. Okay, see I had glue on the back of this. So that worked out good. Now we're gonna glue this down. Linda says she's ordering this butterfly bundle next quarter. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's just so nice and it's easy to make stuff with. Like you can always make a million things. I love that it cuts out all these butterflies at once with the dies, right? Okay, so here comes Scrappy Doodles. I'm going to take, you could use your layering circle dies. I'm going to get a two and a quarter inch, um, you know, circle. And I'm going to put that on some dimensionals. And again, this is basic white. Oh, here's my take your pick tool. Uh, okay. 
Let me see. Oh my gosh. Hang on, my things aren't scrolling. Oh my goodness, I got five million of them. <laughs> Rhonda says she loves the butterfly bundle. I do too. I've had a lot of fun with it. It's awesome. So we're just going to put this on here. Then we're going to take our butterfly and we are going to, I think I'm going to add, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to add some mini dimensionals right down the middle. And then I can bend those wings up just a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this right on here. And now we can, I kind of hold the body of the butterfly or moth, if you want to be really specific. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a moth. And then you can do that. Look how fun that is, right? Okay, then we're going to take this. Whoops. And we're going to do this. And here we come. We're going to put this right up here. Oh, so cute. Now remember, this is Wendy Sue's design, not mine. I am just making her card because I knew you guys needed to know how to make it. And it's really pretty. So now we've got the in color enamel shapes and I love, love, love all the coordinating products, right? Who doesn't love the coordinating products? Now, Wendy took these and put three little dots right on the circle and I just thought that was the cutest little touch, right? I mean, look how much that adds to our card. Super cute. And then this butterfly, I just thought since it was little, I might as well, you know, cut it out and color it. Color it anyways, so I can use it. And I'm just going to put that right there. <gasps> so, moral of this card, thank you guys so much, is one by four and three quarters. Three strips and then everything else is standard. The white layer is four by five and a quarter. You can do anything to this. Seriously, you can have your card like this if you wanted to, right? So, so pretty. So, Wendy Sue, thank you so much for all the hard work you do your fabulous layout and beautiful butterfly card. I love it. All right, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. I'll put my butterfly dies back in here because, you know, I'm good at losing stuff every time. this stuff when I'm done because that's not fun. <laughs> Cleaning up after this retreat isn't fun either, I'll tell you that. It's, there's a lot of stuff, but my office isn't looking too horrible. I would expect it to be worse right about now. But it's not. It's not too bad. I've kind of kept up with it. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Here comes the next project. That. Now, let's set this right over here. I chose to use the snail mail. And you can use any designer paper you want. This really isn't about the bundle that I chose. It's about the layout and how totally cool it is. Um, and then I have a gazillion little snail cards to share with you. So, swaps are fabulous. So since I chose this paper, I chose Bermuda Bay and Real Red for my inks. I also brought in the Resin Heart embellishments. This is part of this suite. And then you have a combo pack of Baker's Twine and Blushing Bride and Basic White. Hang on. I know I'm going to need my paper cutter here, so I'm going to get that unburied. All right. <clears throat> Oh, here's my card stuck. I'm like, where'd my card stuck go? Here we go. Here comes my little cheat sheet. Okay, I'm breaking up every once in a while. All right, so when you guys hit the heart or the thumbs up, I know I tell, I told you to do that, but that's kind of creating some problems with the breaking up. I don't know what to tell you. If you just want to do... Mm, um. A comment instead of the hearts 
I'm hoping that we can stay on here for the duration. <laughs> and I know people have said that before, and that's what causes the problems, but it's like, for Pete's sakes, Facebook wants us to do this stuff, right? Okay, real red scrap. Bermuda Bay scrap. Then I've got a belly band that's one inch by 11 and we're going to cut it. Um, I took a piece of this cutie patootie paper and I cut it four by eight and then there's four more inches left on the end of a 12 inch piece, right? So then the four inches that was on the end here I cut that off, then I cut this in half. So this is two by four. So you got two pieces here, okay? All right, let me get this out of here. Snail mail, super duper cute. Okay, we got this. Scrap, scrap, this is our belly band. This is our card base. I'm gonna use red for my card base. This is four and a quarter by eight and a half. Ooh, I've got an envelope here. Don't let me forget to do something with that. And another white scrap. So, here's the snail dip stamp set and then the snail dies. That's a creative name. <laughs> and we are going to be using this die right here. And the snail die. Oh my gosh, I love this little envelope too. And then we've got these little mushrooms. You get two little mushrooms and a bigger mushroom. We're going to use one of the little ones. So I'm going to take a white scrap and die cut this postage stamp out of it. And when I do that, it looks like this. Don't you love that? And so I'll put that away. Put this, oops, let's put this over here so I don't lose it. And then I am going to take this little mushroom and I'm going to die cut it on a piece of real red. And when I do that, <laughs> here's the cute little mushroom. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so I'm going to put that away. Hang tight. Put that over there. Then from this scrap, I'm going to use a stitched shaped circle, and those are retiring. I don't even know what I'm going to do without them, okay? <laughs> I'm like, I'm in serious mourning for that fact. I'm going to die cut a circle out of this, so we've got that. So we've got this, this, and this. Now, you can stamp um, the um, snail and color it in with blends or whatever you want to do. Or you can take one of these and you can just die cut it. So I decided that that's what I was going to do, was die cut this. So I'm going to tape this in place. And let's see, I'll bring my mini, my mini boss. Oh, hang on, I gotta get my plates out. There they are, that wasn't bad. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do with my plates? Okay, so uh, oh, my paper's cut just a little bit. Hang on, let me cut a little bit off of this. Oh shoot, how about if I do this? There we go, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so we've got our snail on here. And if anybody hasn't seen this mini machine, it's pretty cute. And you can leave it sit right on your desktop which is wonderful. And if you go to crops or over to friends' houses, any type of die, we have the thinner embossing folders fit in here too. But any smaller dies will run right through this. Look at how cute that is, right? Okay, let me move this out of the way. Here's our snail. I'm gonna put this guy away. We're not gonna throw this away. Why? Because we're paper hoarders. <laughs> not gonna throw it away. Okay, how are we doing? Are we breaking up, freezing up at all? Are we still looking pretty good? I hope that everything's good. Okay, now we're gonna do just a little bit of stamping. I like to bring my piercing mat in here to stamp on. And hang tight because I decided, there's some sentiments in here. You have hello and you snailed it. 
but I wanted to use the wonderful as you. I just really love these sentiments in here. And you can use any one that's going to fit on here will work fine. But I'm going to use the miss you. And I've got that right here. Let's see, my colors are red and Bermuda. And I think I will use the red. So I'm going to do miss you. And I'm going to do this just like this, okay? Now, our resin hearts are here too, so golly, as long as we have all these matching hearts, we might as well use them, right? Oh, I see Catherine just messaged me and said she's never won a door prize before. Well, you can't say that anymore, can ya? Catherine was one of our big winners yesterday. We had so many prize giveaways on at the retreat. It was just really fun. They were just coming one after another, it seemed, for a while. Okay, then you're going to cut a piece of, I've got, this is, um, what do you call it? Um, Coastal Cabana. So I just cut a piece a little bit bigger than this, and I'm just going to add this on here. I think I've got some glue stuck in there because I left my bottle open all day. And it, it'll only like um, get the end of it will start getting a little you know clumpy because the air hits it. The rest of it is fine because I leave my glue open all the time. I'm just real weird about that. I'm lazy. <laughs> I, I can say I'm just real weird about it but I'm a lazy stamper. I'm, I'm gonna put it right out there for you guys. Okay check that out. Okay so we've got this. Oh, we can put some dimensionals on the back of this bugger. I know, I'm keeping you all in suspense for this fun fold card, right? We're just getting all the preliminary stuff done. And we have this, and we have this. As long as we've got our envelope here, let's take care of that. And I think I'm going to use my Happy Mail. And we're going to stamp that right on our envelope, because that's going to be super cute when somebody opens their mail, right? Okay. Um... Oh, and then, hang on, we got this little shroom. <laughs> we got this little mushroom. Oh my good lord, how cute is that? I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm going to put it right at the bottom. Now, the question comes into play, where do you sign this card at? Once, it, once I get it made, you may have that question. But I think that I would just sign it right over here. This is not a card to write a novel with. This is your area you're going to sign it. Or you could put some space on the back and that would be fine. If you need to write more, if you want an excuse not to write more, this is going to be it. This is the perfect card to just send a tiny little note. Okay, here comes my paper trimmer. And now what we're going to do with this is we're going to take our card base we're going to score it at two and one eighth on each side. Okay, so this is two and one eighth. Turn it around and do two and one eighth again. Okay, so there's our card base. And again, this, this is four and a quarter by eight and a half. I will put all of these dimensions on my blog, so don't worry about that. And then we have this piece. Now what we're going to do with this piece I'm going to find my pencil. Um, you need to decide which piece, which side you want to show when you open the card. And I want this one to show, so I'm going to work with this side. Now, this piece is 8 inches, so I want a mark at 4 inches. I need a mark in the middle of my layer. And I'll just do this and make a mark over here, too. It'll just make it easier. Okay, so I've got a pencil mark here and here in the middle. I'm thinking, am I doing this right? I think I am. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fold this over till it hits the middle. Okay? And of course you want to use your bone folder so you get good crisp folds. And you're going to butt this right up against there. This is a little origami. Okay, so that's what we've done, right? That's it. Pretty easy, easy peasy, right? Now we're going to take this corner down and we're going to match it up with that middle hash line that we wrote 
marked on here. And you need to make sure that you keep this nice and straight. Hang on to it, don't let it get all wonky. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. You're gonna push it right up to that mark. And again, we're gonna fold this just like that. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. We're gonna pull this down to here. Yeah, giving me a little hard time. You, got, you want to make sure you're getting good points at the ends here. Just like that. What I did, you guys, is I actually pulled out a scrap piece of designer paper and used that to make this first so I could figure out what I was doing, especially since I didn't have any directions because I just got a card from Luba and I just started measuring and going to town with it. Okay, so you have this, 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 this and now what you're going to do is you're going to remember we we folded this in like this first okay you're going to take this part you're going to pinch these pinch these and then it's going to do this and do you remember this looks like those little um those little like fortune cookie things that we used to do when we were in elementary school hang on i'll show you in just a second pull these two up Smush this down like this. And again, you want to make sure that you're getting good, crisp folds and points. Remember remember the little fortune cookie things where you went like this with them and they had little notes written in them? <laughs> you guys remember those or do you just, am I confirming that I'm a lunatic? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay. Can watch that again. Remember, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, and then first we did this. Doesn't matter which way you do it, but now we've got all of this happening just like that. Okay, now this pattern of paper has a definite right side up, like this is upside down. We don't want our shrooms to be up upside down, right? We want them to be right side up. So we're going to hold that like that. We are going to fold on our score lines here. Just like that. Oh, I'm going to take these pieces right now. Remember, these were two by four. And I am going to glue them on here. Now, the other card, I kind of kept them so there was a margin around on the panels of the DSP. This one, I'm going to push it all the way up to the middle because that's what Luba did and I know why she did it and I just didn't think about it before I glued it on the other one. But I'll show you what I meant in a minute. I've got another one of these to show you, just using some different paper. Okay, so this piece is all the way up to that edge, just like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other one. And what you can do here is if, you're, if, you're, if your sides if your edge doesn't meet right in the middle, if you have a gap there, you can just push this paper over it so that you can't see it. You can just slide it that way a little bit, right? That's a pretty cool trick. Look at that. And if you're really smart, you will put your puzzle pieces back together. Like I could have lined this up where I cut it down the middle, but I didn't <laughs> because this piece should be over there and this piece should be over there. Whatever. <laughs> That's a lot of ciphering. Okay, now here comes this part. This goes in here just like this. And I'm just gonna look at it and center it nicely. And now I'm going to take some glue, just like this, and I'm going to close my card. So I centered this origami piece in the middle of my middle panel. And now I'm gonna take some glue over here and do the same thing. Are you guys ready for this? Because it's pretty cool. Here we go. Ready? What? Look at that. Is that not so incredibly cool? Now, you can rewatch this. Um, when it's done, you can, when it, I'm done being live, you can go back and rewatch and you can pause this and then play and stop it so you know how to do the folding. I can give, you know, you'll get step by step on how to do the folding. So here comes my inside sentiment and I'm going to 
you got to kind of look at your paper here. Here we go. Okay, kind of look at this and make sure that I'm getting this centered. Because it's hard to see with the designer paper where exactly the score lines are. Or the fold lines, I guess, is a good way to put it. There we go. That looks centered. Okay. So, there is the inside of our incredible, crazy card, right? I didn't glue that. Hang on, i got to make it stay. Okay, now, what are we going to do with the rest of this? Well, let me show you. I know, I was so excited to show this to you guys. So, we're going to take, this is a one-inch strip of Coastal Cabana. You don't want to make this too tight because it's a belly band, right? It's not meant to, it, it needs to come off. We're going to slide this off. So I'm just going to take this, and it looks like this was 11 inches. If you made it like one and one, one and a half inches smaller than that, it's a better size. So whatever that is. Math is really hard, and I'm just not up to it tonight. I've had my, I'm up to my ears in math with postage today. Oh my good lord. I wish I could have added that up. I don't know how many thousands of dollars I spent today shipping out those boxes but the the um postage is included in the price of the retreat so don't worry <laughs> that's you know that's how we do it i'm gonna trim this off just a little bit because i got it just a little too long there we go okay so here's my belly band Darcy, good evening from Montana. You have a beautiful state. Beautiful. I like Montana a lot. Okay. There we go. So here's our little belly band. And then here comes this. I am going to just add some glue there. I'm going to put my Bermuda Bay circle on here. And then, oops, I've got my little snail guy. You know it would be super cute, and I was going to get these out, and I forgot, you guys. Super cute would be to add some little googly eyes to the snail. And darn it, I was going to get the googly eyes out, and then I just spaced it. So remember that. Googly eyes, this, this little creature has the perfect size eyes for the googly eyes. And this is so stinking cute, right? So here we go. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, Pam, I didn't come up with it. I'm gonna show you Luba's card in just a minute. She sent one to me and I like figured out how to make it. Ah. Yeah. The only thing I didn't use out of the suite is the um, baker's twine. So maybe we should use a little bit of baker's twine. Hang on a second. I'm going to get out one of my handy dandy. Oh, let's make a little teeny weeny one. I'm going to get out. Oh, let's make a little bigger one. I'm going to get out my little bow jig here. I do have some of these in stock again. For those of you that placed orders with me um, from the 1st through the 15th, if your order was over $100, you're going to get a free bow maker. It's different than this. Here it is right here. Whoops. Oops. Hang on. These things. This is made with a 3D printer. Um, a jumbo one. You'll get a jumbo one as a gift from me, as a special thank you gift for your crazy order. <laughs> Not crazy, right? Um, but anyways, I have some more of these in stock. These are $10. If you want one, just get in touch with me. I'll pop you invoice and get it out in the mail. Okay, so where are we going to put this? I think right there is a perfect place. Where's my mini glue dots? Right here. I was using them a little bit earlier. It's good to be back in my office. I have been downstairs for quite a while in my old office working on all of these retreat packets. Last night I put the rest of the stuff in all the boxes. And I have to tell you, when I went to bed, my body hurt. I felt like I got hit by a train. It was crazy. <gasps> Look at how cute that is, right? Okay, so you want to see my other one? Hang on, where is it? Oh, here it is. Here's my little belly band. And this time I just used um, red and Bermuda. And this is Bermuda and Coastal, okay? And then here's my inside. Different designer paper. And I use a little heart punch. And this is different designer paper. So how stinking adorable are these? 
They're so, so fun. Make sure you don't get your belly band too tight, okay? And then, where's Lupus card? Look at this. This uses the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. I know that pretty much all of you have some, right? She's got her little belly band. Have fun every day. This was for Molly, actually. Luba didn't send this card to me. She sent it to Molly for Molly's birthday. And I said, Molly, I need to have that card. Now, Luba, don't worry. I will give this back to her. <laughs> because she will ask me for it, too. That girl is sharp. So there we go. Here is the Origami Fun Fold. Isn't that cool, you guys? And you saw it. It's not hard to make. You just, like I said, get a scrap and sit down and figure this out, okay? Um, it's it's pretty simple once you do that. And then the the other part I was like, I, had, I tried a couple different ways putting it, gluing it to the inside of the card, but I found it was just easy to take that origami piece and set it right in the middle, keep it folded down, put glue on one side, push it down, put glue on the other side, and then it's gonna be where it needs to be and open up. And this is not attached in here at all. So pretty cool, right? Okay, hang tight. Luba, thank you so much for the super duper cool card idea. Love it. And here comes some snail mail. So let me show you some of these cute cards. I don't think I've shown these to you yet. How cute is this? I made this for, um, I don't know, a swap or something. Here comes another one. This uses the um, that designer series paper, the ombre paper, and then it's run through that paper, uh, worn paper embossing folder. Isn't that cool? And look, the googly eyes. She used googly eyes. I don't know. Sandy made this. Made by Sandy. Oh, hang on. This wasn't a swap card. Ah, oh, this was a card. Hang on. I already read this. Don't think I don't read my mail, but Sandy Young. Yep. But I kept it because, oh, and then look at that little envelope. Isn't that cute? Okay, here's another one. You've got mail. The resin hearts right here in the little envelope. Super duper cute. I love how that stitched um, Playful Pets trim combo pack of ribbon matches this paper. Here's another one. Super cute. Oh, thank you, Kathy says. Really clear directions. Thank you so much. I think you're talking about me. <laughs> if you're not, <laughs> thanks anyways. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. How simple, right? Got that little resin heart on there again. This is actually die cut from the paper. <gasps> Look at that. That's really cute. That little envelope with the little heart. There's heart dies, you guys, in the um, snail dies. Where did those go? Okay, I already lose them. Nope, here they are. There's some little hearts in here too. That's where these hearts are coming from. Okay, here comes another, look at how cute that is. I am so sad that the Subtles 3D embossing folder is retiring. Like, that makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another cute one. Oh, and this one looks like a fun fold. These are made by my friend Candy Michael. Oh my goodness, look at this. Inside. he's so cute oh my goodness how adorable is that yeah and here's another one super cute here's all those little mushrooms I love this paper it's just so much fun and here's another one this uses that tasteful textiles embossing folder I think that's what it's called and ah, here comes another one how cute is that who made that one jane gaffney she's on my team too so you've got a ton of snail card ideas here and again you can go back and fast forward to this part and you know pick and make and choose whatever you would like to out of these we've got that this was wendy sue made by wendy sue tonight this was shared by luba with molly for her birthday so that was exciting and then we made these two little buggers super ba duper cute right love them okay i have mail to share with you guys so let's look at my pretty mail that i got hang on just a second what are you guys drinking tonight 
I've got my same old strawberry lemonade. Ooh, I have some presents to share with you too. Okay, so let me get this out of the bag. What does that look like, you guys? <laughs> um, yeah, this is from Sharon Kersey. So look at look at this. This was our um, designer series paper that Barry Blessings. Is this not the coolest card ever? Look at that. And this is Bath and Body Works. Gingham. Isn't that cool? Is the snail sweet retiring? I remember let me look uh, it looks like it is I think it is does anybody know different I have a retirement I, this is what I did to my catalog I went through and wrote on all of it but yeah I'm pretty sure this is all retiring Patty's got a brandy old fashion oh I'm coming to your house Patty you got any Southern Comfort and olives? I'll be right there. So, this is from Sharon. She says, you may not remember. Oh, I remember this, Sharon. <laughs> but I sent you a kitchen towel that matched the abstract impressions card. And look at this. Here's those kitchen towels. Look at how cute they are. Yeah, yeah, you did send them to me. And they're in my cupboard because I put them out to actually use them. And my husband was wiping his filthy little grubby hands on them. And I told him in a very stern and not so nice voice, you're the reason why we can't have nice things. <laughs> but yes, I do. I love these towels. They're so pretty. So anyways, she saw this um, soap and it was like, wow, that matches our designer series paper. And so this matching has become a requirement among her friends. And she's sending me a little something. So... Oh, and she said, don't call me Marilyn this time. I know I did that last time, too. Sharon Kersey, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. And I use Bath & Body like crazy. Like, it's in all of my bathrooms. The last time I went to Bath & Body, I bought 20 bottles because I get so annoyed when I, when I run out and I have to go to the mall. So I love this stuff. Thank you so much. And I love that it matches, right? It's gorgeous. Okay, so let me put those over here. That was from Sharon. Oh, and she made a matching envelope. Let, let me get this back here so we can get the full effect. Oh, doesn't it just, this, you guys, this makes such a big difference. <laughs> Denise says it's a man thing. Her husband does the same thing. I know, they, they like wreck everything. Okay, this card is from my friend Denise. I just got it yesterday. Look at how cute that is for Happy Easter. Denise is my friend that lives down in Arizona, and she says, hope all is well. We'll be home in April sometime. It's definitely warming up out here. Water, volleyball, six days a week. Love it. Denise, I'm so jealous. Yay for you. Such a pretty card. Oh, I'm going to leave this one out here, too. Hang on. We'll just do this. Okay, next up, look at this beauty. This came in the mail. Look how pretty that is, right? And this is wishing you a happy Easter. Let me move this. May the promise of his wonderful gift fill your heart with peace and joy. Happy Easter. Isn't that cool? Now, this is from Lynn Seclary. And she says, um, she gives me a whole bunch of tips on how she made this. She made about eight of these. So that's really cool. Happy Easter. Oh, and then she sent me a gift. She made a press from a doorknob. Are you guys familiar with these? I'm glad she told me what this is because I wasn't. She says um, it's wood and furniture protectors. Okay, so this is a furniture protector and some wood and like this is a, um, a doorknob and you use it for the stamparatus. So let me grab my stamparatus because if I understand right, you put your stuff in here to do your thing and then you're gonna take this and you're gonna use it to press it instead of going like this. I think this is the coolest thing ever, isn't it? Like, thank you so much, Lynn. This is just so neat. Trisha says she, Tisha, I'm sorry, says she has seen these. But I was just so impressed. So I'm gonna put this in my drawer with my Stamparatus 
so that I have it handy when it's time to use. But thank you so much. That was just so sweet of you. Okay, so hang on. I'm going to move this out of the way. Then, and your beautiful card. <laughs> oh, and Luba says she made one to use in her stamping positioner. So good for you. Okay, look how pretty this is. It's your time to bloom. Look at that. Love one another as he commanded. And this is from my friend Susan. She said, may the Lord bless your Stampin' Up! business as you celebrate past events and plan for new goals. Your generosity has been building a solid foundation for new growth and your hard work has earned a good reputation. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Susan, you are always so elegant in your writing and wording of stuff. Thank you so very much. This was just so sweet of you. Okay, I have one more card here. I think I only have one, maybe, let's see. Look how cute, it's the strawberries. I love these. Um, this one is from Patricia Perrin, and she's thanking me for a card that I sent her. She lost her husband, um, I think she said back in December or November, and uh, she told me that, and I of course sent her a card, and so I'm so happy to see that she's stamping again, because she kind of lost her mojo, and my deepest sympathy to you, Patricia. We love you. We're glad you're stamping again. Thank you for the beautiful card. And then, look at, I got presents in the mail, you guys. This comes to me from Katrina Prado. And this, oh, where did that thing go? Hang on, is this the right one? Nope, that was Linda's. Okay, this is from Katrina Prado. Oh, I don't have your address anymore, but... Um, I got the Touch of Ink, Darling Donkeys, and then this Always in My Heart, the whole bundle, you guys. The whole bundle with the dyes and everything. So we'll be giving all of these away. And she, oh, I, I put your address at the top of this list. Katrina um, wanted to donate these. She says, you don't know me, but I love watching your videos on YouTube. I discovered you by accident during the pandemic, and I have learned so much from your videos. Although I am signed up for, or signed up with a neighbor, I did join the Stamp Happy Academy. She joined our website subscription and she loves it. She's sending these extra sets as a gift to give away. You do so much for other people and I wanted something for you. Thank you so much. Keep making your wonderful videos. God bless, Katrina Prado. Do you think John posts Steve updates on his Facebook page? <laughs> oh my gosh, Katrina, you are hysterical and I don't think he does. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that is it for my mail this week. Thank you so much for stamping with me tonight. You know that I absolutely adore you. I always have so much fun. I want to let you know that I will not be live next Sunday. I was going to try to put together a live and have it post on my Facebook page next week. I honestly don't know if that's really going to happen. And so I don't want to promise you something that I can't you know, bring to fruition. But um, if I do get a chance to do that, I will post something next Sunday. Otherwise, I will be gone next Sunday. We are going to be on a vacation. Yay! I can't hardly wait. I need some more sunshine. All right, you guys, if I missed any of your questions, please know that I'm not ignoring you. It's very hard for me to keep up. I only have about this much room to see all those comments scrolling through. If I missed any questions, please feel free to um, contact me. You can email me at kelly at stampabove.com. This is my current host code right now. You can always find that on my blog. Um, if you place an order under $50, use this code. If, or I mean under $150, not $50, $150. Use this code. And if you place an order over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. <laughs> Pam said, no problem. Take Easter off. And it is Easter. That's right. So I know when I planned this trip, I didn't realize that. So I felt kind of bad about it, too. But I'm still going. Not bad enough. <laughs> we'll find some Easter festivities in Florida. Thank you for reminding me of that. So I probably... We'll see. We'll see where I am. I have to clean up this mess. I have to finalize my packages for the retreat getting out of here. 
And always remember, you guys, I appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business so I can pay my bills and then once in a while enjoy going to Florida. <laughs> Have yourselves a great week. Happy Easter to all of you. And don't hesitate if you have any questions. Um, I love stamping with you. Have a great couple weeks. Bye-bye.